What's happening people? I am out and about again today and if you've seen yesterday's vlog you will know where I am. I am in the Costa Brava and I'm in Lorette de Mar. I left yesterday's vlog at Girona Airport where I landed on the uh, £22 flight from Ryanair. Uh, I had to wait an hour for a bus or get a taxi so let me tell you about that first. Yesterday's vlog, if you haven't watched it go back and watch that and hopefully these vlogs should just follow on now. I'm here for four days, this is day one. Well, yesterday was day one, but we got delayed at the airport, so the bus, the bus um, timetable didn't really correlate. Is that the right word? Am I being a bit stuck up there with them words? Using big words, I don't know. Did it correlate with my schedule? I think that's right. <laughs> if it's not, I'm sure you guys will let me know. You usually do. So I had to wait an hour for a bus or get a taxi. So I, I looked at the taxi prices and it was 52 euros one way. And I looked at the bus prices and it was a 16 euro return ticket. You all know what I did, being a tight Yorkshireman. I waited an hour and got the bus. So but I'm staying at this hotel here, the Blue, Blue Sea Monte Vista, Hawaii. Um, they do have two parts, so you can go up the road. Just to, to the right, there is, another, there is another section of it. This one looks a little bit better. And of course, I'm in the cheapest room, so I'm staying in the second section of it, which is a bit, it's, it's not it's not the best um, but today's about food anyway I did it was too late to do a, a video last night when I got here um, so I just went for a beer or five which means I've had a nice lie in this morning I don't usually get with uh, all the animals in uh, Justino household and um, yeah I'm gonna go and I had a little wonder and had a, had a beer at the beach you guys have seen it on my Instagram where am I um, if you're not following the Instagram all the links to all the social medias are in the comments in the description sorry um, so we're gonna go back down there and I'm gonna get um, a pizza or some pasta I might try the spaghetti carbonara actually because it did look at there were a, a German family sat next to me last night and they, they got all pastas and things and I thought oh that looks really nice that looks really nice so I think I might try a spaghetti carbonara and the seafront should be decent it, oh, this this bar I can't remember what it's called but I'll tell you when I get down there it overlooks the um, it overlooks the castle at one end of Lorette de Mar. This hotel is at the, as you're standing facing the sea, it's at the left-hand side of the Lorette de Mar beach. I'm not sure what it's called. I'll put the map on the screen for you now. So, try not to get run over here. So we're gonna head down there. It's literally one road from this hotel down to the, the far left side of Lorette de Mar beach. Oh, don't get run over, Dino. So, we're gonna take a little wander down there show you a little bit of the seafront and uh go in there we'll get I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go for a pasta carbonara that's what i really fancy now go, go down there and we'll um we'll we'll get some food and it's a glorious day it's october but it's absolutely beautiful so come on come with me so this is the road that takes you straight down to the beach and the hotel is literally just behind me there the eagle-eyed of you might have seen this place capra Bow. So, you know what I'm like, when I'm abroad, I do like to investigate a supermarket, see if we can find any funky food. So maybe I, uh, I do a vlog and go in there and have a look in there later today and see what we can take back to the room and any funky food. I did do that in uh, Magaluf. I went to a Spanish Aldi in Magaluf, but this one's a bit more authentic by the looks of it. Caprabo. We can go in and have a look. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm buying from these. Anyway, let's get down to the beach. I know I'm going for a carbonara, so come on. I wonder what they're delivering. <laughs> Come on, let's crack on, we're nearly there now, look. So straight at the bottom of the road, like I said, you've come out straight into the beach. Look at this, absolutely fantastic. Check this out.
So that's the, the whole seafront, we call it, what we call it in England, promenade. That's what you've got, if it were Blackpool, it'd be Blackpool Prom, wouldn't it? Um, but it's not, it's absolutely fantastic. There's lots and lots of restaurants on the, on the front there, and also there's like a little square behind, which we're going to investigate later on in the week. But for today, we're going that way. Let's get around there. I know a lot of you guys say, get off the get off the front, go to the more traditional places. It's all touristy, you're paying for the tourists, you're paying for this scenery. And I am a bloody tourist, so I'm doing what I want to do, all right? Come on. Look at that castle. And here is the pizzeria we're going to. I want to say Taksim, restaurant, tapas, barayadas, pizzeria, arrosos, cocktails, ice cream, you get everything here. And it looks like there's a hotel above it or apartments. So we're going to go in here now. Mm. Yep, yeah, I am, yeah. Can I get the. Um, I'll go for tortellini carbonara. Please. Tortellini carbonara? Yes, please. Spinach, yes? With, with spinach, yeah. Please. All right. Perfect. I wasn't actually planning on having a pint, but, you know, as soon as they said, got a pint, I said, yeah. <laughs> I've come inside for better lighting because it's just so bright outside. But I will be going out after I've eaten for another pint, probably. Now. Now I'm on it. Okay, I'll bring you back when the food's here. Okay, so the food's arrived. Um, it looks fantastic. Very, very posh. I can't remember how much it costs, so that was a bit of a worry. But you guys take a look at this and then we'll get into it. Okay, so plenty of bacon on here, look at this. But first things first, we've got to add a bit of this uh, formaggio per pasta, cheese per pasta. Parmesan, I would imagine. Go for the small one, a little bit. You can never have too much cheese, can you? Oh, yes. There we go. Right, probably a little bit of pepper as well. I do like a bit of pepper. There we go. Okay, so it looks like this uh, tortellini, oh no, it's not, it is pasta. So I thought it actually was in like spinach leaves. So we'll cut open one of these, have a look inside. So it's got spinach inside it, so it's spinach. Oh man, look at that. Wow, let's give it a taste. Mm. That is heaven. Right, these bacon strips. Now, you guys know that I'm funny with bacon, but not like this. I think it's more when um, when the actual, in, in bacon rushes on a breakfast, basically. So I'm comparing it to England then, aren't I? Okay, let's go. Mm. Wow. This is absolutely glorious. It's just what I needed with a, a little bit of a hangover. 
together now. Wow, it's soft, it's fantastic. The pasta's soft. The inside of it is glorious. That it's like a uh, spinach and cheese. Fantastic. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm going to finish eating this. We'll give it a score out of 10. I can tell you right now it's going to be high. Then we'll, uh, we'll go outside and we'll have a chat about it without the chef watching. <laughs> Okay, see you in a minute. Well, that was absolutely fantastic. That's close, as close to perfect as you're gonna get. That pasta was soft. The cheese, like the, the white sauce was unbelievable. So tasty. Um, spinach, can't beat it. Uh, normally I do go for the normal carbonara, but I thought, you know what, I'll mix it up. I'm on holiday. Um, yeah, absolutely great. 10 out of 10, couldn't give, couldn't give it any less than that. The um, service was fantastic. The guys in there, very attentive, very quick. Probably got my food in my less than five minutes, which is sometimes a bit of a worry, but it was quite busy. Um, and I just uh, sat there, I was, as you guys have just seen, and I had a little people watching finish my pint. I went outside, I filmed inside, um, but I went outside for the um, for the beer and just to get a bit, bit of sun. Although Mrs. Dino will be telling me to uh, put a cap on, put some sun cream on. I'm like, I'm ready with napper. Right, that's it for today. Back up this hill now to the hotel. Get on my balcony. Well, I say balcony. I'll show you that <laughs> uh, another day. Edit this video. So, thanks for watching. Catch you tomorrow for another review somewhere in the Costa Brava, Lorette de Mar. See you later.